Hi guys, this is Latra Vinovich and my Easy Fluid Art program. Today we will do really amazing technique. Uh, we will do swipe technique, but with a twist. Even you've been in my class and went through this, this time we will do something different. I bet you will love it. First of all, what we will do, we will start with our own, oops, <laughs> negative space. And I wanna make it a little bit different, so we will not go with black or white as usual. Uh, we will go with blue. But before we start, let's make sure I have my gloves. Now, we will do our background. Okay, open up. Yep, here we go. Oh. So we don't need too much of the color, just should be enough. Something like that should work. Let's start and see how that's going. If needed, the great thing about the negative space, we always can go ahead and add colors even later. We are definitely going to use our spatula, putty knife, right there. You already familiar with this? And again, you're playing with this like you would play with a cakes. Easy, breezy, beautiful. <laughs> okay. And today's technique, it's better actually working for the adults because it's a little bit more on complicated side, but you know what? As anything in fluid art, even if it wouldn't work, it still will look pretty cool. So the kids might watch and try it as well. Again, I'm not going to do like all the corners and everything like normally you would do in a painting. This time I will not just because, you know what, I don't really need it that much. I just slightly make sure that it's covered, but I don't need too much of the paint. So here we go. And if I would need to clean something or fix something in the end, I always can do that. Here we go. Done. Now, I will use few small, uh oh, need to clean my hands. Always keep your hands, tools, everything you touch clean. Nowadays, it's even more important, <laughs> but in fluid art, it's always been very, very important to make sure everything is clean. So, I got three small cups. What I would do, I would put there some colors which I'm intending to use. I definitely wanna try my gold color. You can see it's beautiful, right? Usually try to stay away from this. The only reason for it is this is a color which easily go to the muddy color. It's pretty hard to work with, but today I'm actually ready to try something new. So why not? I will do yellow, bright yellow. It looks really cool against this blue and I will do the ochre yellow. Believe it or not, I'm not going to use today my favorite color. Oh, I'm missing it so much. And I definitely want to use white and maybe a little bit more. That's my fourth cup. Then other colors, just because it's always cool to use some white when we're using the dark background. I'm not pouring too much, so there is no silicone in any of the colors except the white. But just a little bit, not too much. This is not my cells activator, no. Let's see how we will do. What I do right now, I'm putting the line in the middle. You see, I don't need a lot of color for this, right? Just a little bit. And you can do one more right here. 
leaves some blue so it will have the color in the middle then I will put a little bit more yellow and it can actually go around and just play with this it doesn't have to be exactly in the same spot let me put all the colors right here so you can see them and then I will go with a darker darker ochre color and uh, here we go and the white color so that's where you put the white and you add more white just like that okay now to make the swipe I can do few I mean I have quite a lot of options I can use my spatula on the smaller side and if I will do that what I would do I just put it like this lightly just don't press too much and just go down like that and you can stop anytime you want it's already look pretty cool right so just to make it equal on no you know what I will show different tools and then we will decide how we'll continue from there so that's all I have to make the swipe all of this will work I usually never use this one you can see how clean is this just because it's pretty hard it's really hard to hold it and make the line so no no for that but any other one would work pretty good let me try and show you how this would work um, you just put it down and you go just like that easy breezy and clean it up always you need to remember to clean up if you're not cleaning up it might look messy so I'm a little bit fixing the previous one not because it didn't look right it just we can do better than this okay next one just like that and then more it's actually pretty cool when you just making the um, you know leaving some space in between so it will look very nice and natural so sometimes I'm doing it intentionally just like that and then again okay so it looks cool right let's try another one for the top let me take this one you see it's small it will leave kind of weird pattern like this but it's pretty cool too right can you see that I hope you can so just like that if you like that better go ahead and do it if you don't you might want to go back to one of the big ones you can add to this or you can grab the bigger one something like this and finish uh oh that's what you don't want to do you see what I just did I actually make it flow just inside and I pick up all the colors that's wrong you shouldn't do it so I stopped on time that's good it's still okay now I can go in and can finish that yep everything looks fine now and get the clean wipe and let's continue make sure your gloves is not going inside so we need to keep it clean uh-huh just like that or you can choose the one you really like and go back to this I kind of enjoy this one way better so I'm back to my metal one you know I actually originally always been doing the paintings with a palette knife that's my palette knife it feels great in my hand I actually enjoy it way better so 
why to stop doing something I really love. And the last one, if you want, I can show how we can do it with the spadula, just like that. You can see in some places, there is a spot where you can see the gold and it looks pretty cool. But in some places, most likely you will not see it. Most of the places actually will not see the gold. Now, few small touches, like this side, it's too short comparing to anything else. I'm going back and I'm fixing that. You can play around and make sure that it's moved a little bit and it's not as straight as it looks right now. Isn't it cool? It's kind of the night evening type of thing and you know if you think that at one point it's like too long and it's a little bit on the boarding maybe I shouldn't go all the way to the top um, you know it's always easy to fix let's say you hope I will not do that much wide and leave more space for the blue what I can do I can go back I can put a little bit more blue and I can go with this opposite direction, just like that. You see how fun is this? You can keep playing. It's not just one side and that's it. No, you can keep playing until you really liken it, until you think it looks gorgeous. And we are totally satisfied with the result. Until that, keep playing. Let's look right now. Here, I'm not going to touch it anymore. I really do think it looks beautiful. It looks like evening uh, seascape, you know, like you can see the buildings and it's like cityscape, right? Very cool. I actually really like that. So it's pretty easy. This is something you guys can try with your kids. Just make sure you are together because it's really important to make sure you're doing the right lines. And if you really want to look more like a cityscape, just go through this and just make your lines a little bit more defined. Again, don't mess it up. The more you're going again and again and fixing the things, uh, it's becoming muddy and muddy and muddy. So you need to know when to stop. Okay, that was my technique for today. See you very, very soon. See you tomorrow, actually. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.